What does a VMware administrator do? A VMware administrator is responsible for all things server and network related for VMware products such as vSAN, vSphere, and vRealize. In this job, you will be the captain of the ship when it comes to the design, implementation, and maintenance of a business's virtual environment. VMware administrators need excellent technical skills, strong attention to detail, superior analytical skills, and the ability to think on their feet. If you possess these attributes, dive into what a VMware administrator does to see if it is the right career for you. General Job Responsibilities of a VMware Administrator Big Picture You may have a general idea of what a VMware administrator does, but do you know more than just the big picture? A VMware administrator requires in-depth knowledge and skills in areas such as networking, cloud computing, and virtualization. The general job responsibilities of a VMware administrator will be described in detail below. This can help you decide if you have what it takes to pursue a career as a VMware administrator. Creating Infrastructure One of the primary job responsibilities of a VMware administrator is to create a business's infrastructure, including virtual environments, network servers, and hardware utilizing a VMware product. You will also be responsible for deploying the infrastructure by setting up user accounts, overseeing storage, and ensuring network security by setting appropriate network permissions. Maintaining Infrastructure Another primary job responsibility for a VMware administrator is to maintain the integrity and security of a business's infrastructure. The system needs to operate as seamlessly as possible during daily operations. A VMware administrator is responsible for ensuring all software is properly maintained through the creation and implementation of software upgrades and application patches and updating firmware and network drivers as needed. Diagnosing and Repairing As anyone in the IT world knows, even the most carefully monitored and maintained system can still go awry. A VMware administrator must address infrastructure issues as soon as they arise, performing diagnostics to locate the cause and determine the best solution. Recommending Infrastructure Solutions Analytical skills are an essential skill for a VMware administrator to have when it comes to recommending infrastructure solutions. Whether it is a new client or simply upgrading your business's outdated system, a VMware administrator must be able to research current practices, analyze available products, and recommend the best option, all while considering the available budget. Creating Infrastructure Literature IT professionals know that documentation is a necessary part of the job description. While it may be time-consuming, it is essential for a VMware administrator to create literature that documents infrastructure processes, required infrastructure maintenance and upgrades, and troubleshooting procedures. As a VMware administrator, you may also have to put your communication skills to use when creating internal incident reports or infrastructure updates. Sample Job Responsibilities of a VMware Administrator While VMware administrators all serve the same function, the job responsibilities will be specific to the company you work for. Below are some sample job responsibilities for job openings found on Indeed.com to give you a better sense of what the job responsibilities of this position entails. Support of an Enterprise-Wide Virtual Infrastructure Security Management and Vulnerability Management System Health Monitoring and Problem Resolution Leverage and align work to appropriate resources across the team to ensure work is completed in the most efficient and impactful way, including automating processes where possible. Understand capabilities and current trends to maximize efficiency of team by leveraging current tools and applications in place and look for opportunities to improve. Qualifications needed to become a VMware Administrator do the job responsibilities of a VMware administrator sound interesting to you? Read on to learn about the work experience, education, technical skills, and soft skills needed to become one. Relevant work experience More senior VMware administrator typically require several years of relevant work experience, with some employers looking for five to seven years of experience. You will need a strong background in information technology, particularly in cloud computing, virtual environments, VMware, and SE. Required Education You may get hired as a VMware Administrator with just a post-secondary certificate and relevant work experience. Most companies do prefer, or require, a bachelor's degree in Information Technology or Computer Science. 
required technical skills. While you will need excellent technical skills to work as a VMware administrator, the specific skills required will vary by employer. Here are some technical skills potential employers may look for in a VMware administrator. Ability to design virtual and cloud environments. Relevant work experience in automation and scripting utilizing PowerShell, PowerCLI, and Python. Retiring legacy infrastructures and implementing new infrastructures. Infrastructure engineering skills in OS, storage, servers, networking, or middleware. Experience in technologies such as Linux, Windows, vRealize, vSphere, HP Blades, vCenter, and vRealize Orchestrator. Prior experience supporting VMware SE 6.0 or higher environments. Superior knowledge of products such as Cloud, NSX, and Continuant. Experience working with Group Policy Management and Microsoft Active Directory. Required soft skills. You will need more than just excellent technical skills as a VMware administrator, you will also need strong soft skills, the intangible skills that many companies desire in their employees. You should have strong communication skills and the ability to collaborate with others. Flexibility is a key attribute, while a desire to learn and improve your skills is needed. You should have a strong sense of curiosity in order to analyze current industry trends and determine how they can be applied to better the organization. Related questions Get a sense of what you can expect in terms of salary and job growth while working as a VMware administrator. Do I need to become certified to work as a VMware administrator? Certification is not required to work as a VMware administrator, although it will enhance your skills and make you more marketable to potential employers. VMware offers five certification tracks if you are interested, data center virtualization, network virtualization, cloud management and automation, desktop and mobility, and digital workspace. You can pursue associate, professional, advanced professional, or design expert certification. Associate certification will only take two weeks, with professional certification taking at least 90 days. You can achieve advanced professional certification after six months, with design expert certification taking at least 18 months. Additional benefits of becoming certified through VMware include the opportunity to beta test exams and cases, discounts on VMware Press, and reduced admission to VMware sponsored events. What is the average salary for a VMware administrator? In September 2019, the career site Glassdoor.com reported the average base pay for a VMware administrator was $86,262 per year. What is the anticipated job growth for a VMware administrator? The United States Bureau of Labor Statistics BLS, provides job outlooks for general occupations. A VMware administrator would fall into the broader job category of a network and computer systems administrator, with the BLS reporting a 5% job growth from 2018 to 2028 for the category. What kind of companies can I work for as a VMware administrator? VMware administrators are needed in a variety of fields in the public and private sector. Opportunities are available at large companies such as Freddie Mac, the mortgage loan company, and small companies like Charlotte Eye, Ear, Nose, and Throat Associates, a medical practice located in Charlotte, North Carolina.